And you know what? I'm going to give up trying to find uh, a Nidoran because um, it took me that long just to find a Jigglypuff. Um, hey, what's up, buddy? Oof, I better take a rest. That tunnel from Cerulean takes a lot out of you. Really now. Mount Moon is ahead. And straight into a Wild Pep 1 as I read the sign. Well, that's just rude. I mean, it's another Jigglypuff. So you know what? We'll, uh... We'll take you on. Ah, okay, well, now that the pressure's off to try and catch you, as it turns out, a Thundershock against a level 5 Jigglypuff is actually uh, weak enough to actually... It's actually not too strong to actually weaken it properly. Typical. Wish I knew that, be, knew that before, but you know, that's the way it goes. Oh, wow, that's the Boulder Badge. You got it from Brock, didn't you? Brock is cool. He's just not tough. <laughs> uh, people like and respect him. Oh, he's not, he, he's not just tough, rather. <laughs> I said that the wrong way around, didn't I? Yeah, he is tough. <laughs> sorry, I was being a little... I was, I was being a bit rude there to Brock. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Brock. <laughs> these rocks, I swear there's something inside one of these. All around here, a person berry. All right, fair enough. Uh, heal my Pokemon. Yes, I will do that. And we'll just do some rearranging of the Pokemon boxes a little bit. Just because. Yeah, as I said, I think I'll bring Jigglypuff with me. Why not? Yep, you can have six Pokemon with you. Ah, you're going to sell me a Magikarp for 500 Pokedoni... Uh, Pokemonies? Pokedonies? I was about to say Pokemonies. For five thousand poke dollars. Uh, hmm. I mean, I could eventually get a magic carp when I get a fishing rod. But of course, I could always get one now. But then I had to train it up. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'll hold off for now. I mean, if I was given a... I was going to say, if I was given a chance to buy a Magikarp before we took our Brock, then yeah, I definitely would have grabbed it. But then again, I had to wait until... Uh, uh, I would have to train it up to level 20, which would have been awkward. And I'm just trying to think right now. In terms of the next few gyms... I, let's see... Cerulean, next gym's a water type gym. Then it's the electric gym. Then I think it's the grass type. And then you've also got, I think, poison, psychic, fire, and I think it's ground? I'm not sure for the, eight, the final gym. So thinking about it, the only gym coming up that I would definitely want a water type for is the fire type gym, but that's not until much later on. So you know what? I'm not gonna buy the magic up. Team Rocket attacks Cerulean citizens. Not a day goes by without Team Rocket being in the news. Ooh, can we read it? Oh, literally just said the newspaper. I mean, I don't know if it's just me, but it kind of looks like it kind of looks more like a clipboard to me. But um, maybe that's just me. Anyway, you know what? Pokeball fully healed. And yeah, it's definitely worth training up. Yeah, you know what? We'll train up Pikachu a little bit. Even though this is not the most ideal place to train up Pikachu. Definitely wanna train uh definitely wanna train her up a little bit to uh make her a little bit stronger in preparation for the uh, Cerulean gym battle. So, let's now finally check out Mount Moon. Ah, here we go. Beware, Zubat is a bloodsucker. Perhaps I should have stocked up on some items thinking about it before we started here, but never mind. Uh, Geodude, okay. Uh, no good for you, I'm afraid, Pikachu. So, let's just bring out, uh, Mankey. Oof, and a critical hit. I think that was going to be enough to knock you out anyway. But, uh, it's fine. 
What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. All right. You, you were just chilling by uh, the signpost there. Okay, fair enough. But uh, if you move for a battle, Iris, that's fine by me. Ooh, Clefairy. Wow, that hardly did any damage. <laughs> that hardly did anything. Oh, yikes, that hardly did anything. Hmm, do I want to switch Pokemon? I think I am going to and take the risk and just hope that you don't try and use Sing again. Uh oh. Okay, that's fine. Get the Karate Chop in before Clefairy can attack. And of course, this is an old game, so Clefairy is only a normal type Pokemon in this game, unlike later ones, if, um, if I'm not very much mistaken. Also, Pikachu is fast asleep, so thinking about it, just in case a Pokemon decides to try and jump out at me before I make it to the exit, I'll switch Pokemon, and I'm glad I did, because we have ourselves a Zubat. Alright, that's fine. Only level 7 though, so this should be no problem for Charmeleon. Mm, Figure about it, I probably should have just weakened you to try and catch you, but... Let's... Oh, really? Jeez, man. Didn't I just knock you out? Alright, fine then. If you wanted to come along with me, you should have said so. Alright, well, uh... Oh, nice! Okay, leech life, but that's not going to do a huge amount. That was a critical hit. <laughs> Okay, well that's actually perfect back to Charmelia. Good stuff. All right, we'll capture a Zuba. Even though I have no intentions of bringing you with me, but I will capture you anyway, seeing as you insisted on uh, joining me, despite the fact that I literally just knocked you out a second ago. But there we go. Zubat. The bat Pokemon. It has no eyes. Instead, it relies on its ultrasonic cries for echolocation to flit about in darkness. Alright, there we go. I mean, I do have some items to wake up. I think I've got an awakening, but whether I do or not, it doesn't matter because we're right next to the Pokeball Center anyway, so it's not too bad. Plenty of potions, so we should be alright. Although, I wonder if it is worth just heading back into Pewter City just to grab some items. Let me just have a quick look. I said I had plenty of items, but I might be lying here. Uh, let's see. I have four potions and an antidote. Actually, that's not as much as I thought. Hmm. Okay, I tell you what, I'm just going to very quickly run to Pewter City and stock up on some items, and then we'll continue through Mount Moon. Alright, we've now stocked up, so I bought just a few more potions, one awakening, two escape routes, and some repels in case I get a little bit uh, bored of the cost of Pokemon encounters in uh, Mount Moon. Right, speaking of which, let's head back there. And back in Mount Moon. Thank God for the running shoes. Right, let's go and... Oh, I was about to say pick you up, but of course there was a Pokemon guarding it. Oh, okay, Geodude, you want to guard it, do you? Alright, that's fine. Ooh, Pikachu, actually very close to the leveling up. Nice. Alright, we'll just get Mankey out. Take care of this Geodude. Yeah, that was always going to be enough to knock out Geodude, so no problem there. I think she's going to try and learn double team. Uh, no, I'm not going to bother. Ooh, Bullet Seed. Not any use to me right now, as I don't have a Grass type, but you know what? That's fine. Suspicious men are in a cave. What about you? Oh, don't be like that. I might be new around these parts, but I'm certainly not suspicious. Just a strong Pokemon trainer, that's all, Kent. Oh, don't bring out your Weedle out to me. I'm just going to take care of that. There we go. Oh no, String Shot. That's probably not going to do anything for you, is it? Indeed it didn't. There we go, easily take care of you. And Kakuna. You know what, let's switch, and just out of curiosity, was I right in thinking that Jigglypuff only knows two attacks? Yeah. 
literally no like physical attacks or anything so I was going to bring you out but of course that would be completely useless so instead I'm going to bring out Butterfree if you're going to bring out a uh, Kakuna I'll take advantage to its uh, uh, weakness to poison with my confusion there we go Ooh, he actually managed to survive. Well done. But I'll just use a simple tackle attack. That should be enough. <laughs> if it wasn't, that certainly would have been with that crit. There we go. Nice level 13. Ah, there we go. Now we're finally starting to see these attacks. Nice. So, uh, absolutely no point in you knowing Harden, so let's just uh, make you forget that. Uh, give ourselves Poison Powder. Sweet. So, um, do you think I'm still suspicious? I saw them. I'm sure they're from Team Rocket. Ooh, Team Rocket are in here. Alright. We'll see if we can uh, find them. Ah, a Paralysis Heal. Nice. Uh, actually, well, then again, I say nice, but thinking about it, I don't think any Pokemon in this place are actually capable of uh, paralyzing us, but, you know, a paralysis heal could be useful against, um, uh, the gym in uh, Vermilion. Actually, speaking of gym in Vermilion, might be worth trying to catch some, might be worth trying to catch a Geodude. Hmm. I'll tell you what, let's... Let's actually bring out Butterfree and just see if we can uh, see if we can encounter a Geo dude, just so we can have your uh, ground type um, specialty. And hey, a Paras! I'll try and poison you because why not? I'll well try and catch you while I'm at it. Of course, you are part Grass type, so. You could be good against uh, Surge, I think his name is, in the Vermilion City, but that's not for a long time yet, so we don't need to worry too much about that. Right, let's go and capture you. Might as well add you to the uh, Pokedex Paras. Nice. I might bring you along eventually, but uh, at the very least, we'll capture you. Paras, the mushroom Pokemon. Growing out of the bug's back are mushrooms called Tochukaso. However, you're supposed to say that. The mushrooms grow with the bug host. Interesting that it actually says what kind of mushrooms that uh, grows out of uh, a on Paras' back. Okay, that's just a Zubat, don't need to worry about catching you, but we'll uh, stick with your confusion. And easy to take care of you. Most likely not for a good experience though, yeah, 54, not really worth it, was it? It's bound to be something down here. There is. In fact, there's actually quite a few people down here. Ooh, level 9 this time. Alright, well, that's fair enough. This might actually be worth it. Managed to, uh... Survive that, but Leech Life's certainly not going to do you any favours. In fact, I can probably get away using a Tackle Attack. Indeed, I can. 69 experience points! Nice! <laughs> hey, another potion! Nice. Uh, can I battle you? What? Don't sneak up on me. Well, um... Didn't mean to be that rude, uh, super nerd. But, um, that's the way it goes. Ooh, Magnemite! Okay, yeah, definitely gonna have to switch to... Charmeleon. Well, I guess I was wrong about, uh saying that there won't be any Pokemon that will be able to uh, paralyze us. Because of course we got Magnemite, if, if, assuming you know like Thunder Wave or something. Of course you use Supersonic. And of course I hurt myself. Come on Charmeleon, come on. Yeah, there we go. 
Nice. Nice of you to snap out of that. Well, not quite snap out of that, but at least uh, temporarily snap out of that so you can attack that Magnemite. Now you're switching to a Voltorb. Yeah, I'm going to have to temporarily switch to Mankey, seeing as you are still confused, Johnny. I don't want to risk it. But it's only a Voltorb, so Mankey should still be able to take care of uh, Voltorb. Okay, you're just going to charge, which is completely pointless, considering I'm just about to knock you out. There we go, nice. Ooh, how is that not a level up? I have to find stronger Pokemon. Where might they be? Well, you've got to look all over the place. Hey, another item. A rare candy. Nice. Uh, one other person here, you look like a bug catcher. I did see a ladder down there, but I don't know if that's actually the way down or not. I always forget which way to go in this place. Anyway, we'll take on this Canopy right now with Brother Free for the time being, but I'm probably going to switch to another Pokemon in a moment. Yep, that String Shot was definitely not enough to slow me down. Uh, switch to Metapod, which is fine. Uh, yeah, we'll try to Pikachu a little bit. Level 10. Okay, interesting that you chose not to let it evolve into a Butterfree, which, actually, against the Pikachu is actually very smart of you. I mean, you're still going to lose, but at least um, Metapod will theoretically last longer than uh, a Butterfree would. But not when it was a critical hit. <laughs> nice. And once again, you just bring out a Caterpie. Which is fine. And again, a critical hit. I'm, I seem to be getting a lot of critical hits, like... On like move on like attacks where I know it's going to knock out uh, the Pokemon anyway. Right, there's an item down there, uh, up there rather. Well, down and then up. <laughs> okay, just another Paris. Uh, not going to worry about you. I've got some repels, but I'm not going to use them yet. I'm just going to. I'll just run away from uh, the Pokemon for the time being. It's a little bit inconvenient, but honestly, it's not very too bad. I'll take care of some of the Pokemon, but I'm not going to battle every single one. But Butterfree, you are very close to leveling up, so a few more wild Pokemon encounters will be enough to level you up. That's an escape rope. Okay, now we've got uh, another bit of this particular floor. Level 7. Uh... Not really worth it, but at the same time, you know what, it's Butterfree. You have Confusion, you can easily take care of that Zubat without any issues. Ooh, very close. You trainer? Oh, you're not. Hi, I'm excavating... I'm... Ex blah, 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 blah. Hi, I'm excavating for fossils here under Mount Moon. Sometimes Brock a pewter gym lends me a hand. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you were running around. Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought. You're telling me this floor is, uh, this particular floor is actually a lot uh, bigger than I thought it was. Even though I saw a ladder just before, so it might be worth just having a quick peek down there because I honestly can't remember which way to go. Nice, another critical hit there. Good job, Brother Free, against the uh, Oddish. Ah, Stun Spore, here we go. I knew we were going to learn these moves eventually. Yeah, we'll definitely have you learn Stun Spore. Because that's always a nice one to have to try and, uh, you know, just paralyze Pokemon to make it easier to catch. Although I think it's better if Pokemon's like asleep or something. But, you know, we'll, uh, we'll have Stun Spore for now. 
Uh, yeah, no. Well, actually, no, let's train up Pidgey a little bit. I was going to train up Charmeleon. Uh, have Char Charmeleon go up, but actually, we'll train up Pidgey a little bit. Because Pidgey alongside Charmeleon, you will be... Wow, you survived that? That surprised me, that. Wow, you must be down to, like, one hit point. You are one lucky bell sprout. But you weren't able to survive that quick attack. Okay, so... How do you get out of here? It's so big, I may get lost. Well, it's not too difficult. Just gotta go down here, and then you'll eventually find the way out. Speaking of the way out, it might not be a bad idea for me to just head on outside for a bit. Uh, back to the Pokemon Center. And... Just heal up our Pokemon. But first, I'm going to see if I can catch this Geodude, because... Having your immunity to uh, electric attacks will definitely help against Surge later on. As long as we don't knock you out, this will be fine. That's, I think, going to be okay, but let's use a Tackle Attack. Ooh, and using Defense Cool there, just to uh, back you up a little bit. That's a great Geodude. One more Tackle Attack should be... Ooh, actually, I was going to say enough to take you into the red, but it's actually not. But honestly, it's only a Geodude. I should be able to catch you, so let's bring out my Pokeball. Haven't encountered a Clefairy yet. I know they're going to be pretty rare, but still no uh, encounter with a Clefairy right now. But, never mind, we got ourselves a Geodude. Dude, we got ourselves a Geodude, the Rock Pokemon. Its round form makes it easy to pick up. Some people have used them to hurl at each other in a snowball fight. Really? Wow. <laughs> okay, that, that... That that just seems... That... That's got to be against the rules, surely. Using a Geodude in a snowball fight? And I can't imagine a Geodude is, would be pretty happy with being, uh, like, thrown about like that. Uh, let's see. Which way does this path go? Before I head back, I think... Ooh, Team Rocket. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Let's, uh, ignore you for now. I'm just gonna go a little... F well, first of all, I'm gonna head back to the Pokemon Center. Wow, that was a long time without seeing a Pokemon. Uh, we're going to head back to the Pokemon Center, heal up our Pokemon, and then we'll continue our way through. Okay, so we're back pretty much where we originally were before, so there is another ladder down. So the first ladder we briefly went down definitely took us uh, a particular way there. We definitely saw what looked like Team Rocket, but let's just see where this one goes. I can't remember if any of, if they're all dead ends or not. Okay, here's another way down. Okay, this looks like a dead end. I'm going to sneak around to you just for a minute. Yep, indeed it is a dead end. So, let's uh, battle against this uh, Team Rocket uh, fellow and just see uh, what you've got to say. In fact, you're completely unaware, aren't you? Uh, I'm right next to you, buddy. Hello? Hello? We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. <laughs> and you were, you were concentrating so hard on that, you did not even know I've been stood right next to you for quite some time. So, um, not very observant of you, buddy. Also, I don't know what kind of work you're doing around here, but um, you're obviously a bunch of crooks, so we're just going to have to uh, put a stop to you. Uh, I'm not going to switch back up because Pikachu is very close to leveling up, so we'll keep Pikachu out for now. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, let's try that again. There we go, Thundershock. Grab that item from the top, so... Might be worth going down that other ladder, because just before I went down the ladder just before, there was another Pokemon trainer there, so that might actually be the way, so... We'll backtrack a little bit. Nice, level 16. Uh, we'll backtrack a little bit. 
Just see what's down that way. If you find a fossil, give it to me and scram. Um, yeah, good luck with that. I'm just going to help myself to this item. No, nope, I'm going to help myself to a Pokemon instead. But it's just a Zubat. It is a level 8 Zubat. Is it worth it? Ah, you know what? It's worth it. There's so many of them. So, um, yeah. If you're going to bother me again, Zubat, just remember that I have Pikachu up front right now. And she will definitely shock you. Anyway, TM46, Thief. Huh, how appropriate, considering uh, we're seeing Team Rocket right now. Yeah, so we've got someone there. I think that I think going that way might actually be the way forward. I'm not sure. So let's actually backtrack a little bit. Oh, actually, level nine. I tell you what, we will battle you just for that little bit of extra experience. Uh, so we'll backtrack a little bit. We'll go down that tunnel. But even if the tunnel that I go down ends up being the way out, anyway. Hey, 69. Nice. Um, if even if this ends up going back out. We'll just backtrack once again and uh, battle, battle against everyone. And pick up any items we may have missed. There might, there's probably some hidden items that are around here, but I can't be bothered trying to remember where they all are. Anyway, let's go down here. Have ourselves another Pokemon encounter. Uh, it's a Paras, but I'm not going to bother battling you. Instead, I uh, want another Pokemon encounter. Uh, and another Paris. Only level 5 this time, so. Sorry, Paris, not worth my time, I'm afraid, right now. I am busy trying to get through Mount Moon. We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon gangsters. We strike fear with our strength. Really, is that so? Are you going to tell me more about this job you were doing, like the other guy was saying, or are you going to. Stay quiet on that as well. Sand Shrew, uh, not ideal for Pikachu, unfortunately. So, we're going to have to bring out. Hmm, I guess we'll just have to bring out Mankey. Ooh, you are close to leveling up, though, Mankey, actually. I've just noticed. So, you know what? This will do you nicely. That won't do you nicely, though, a sand attack. That's not. That's never good. It hasn't affected you too much, although a double dose of it. A double dose of sand attack is not good. But hey, Mankey was still able to uh, stay on target, which is nice. Annoyingly, you're going to send out a Rattatas, which would be ideal for Mankey, but of course you've been uh, sand attacked twice, and I don't want to risk uh, missing my move, so we're just going to bring Pikachu out again. This shouldn't be too much of an issue for Pikachu. Yep, there we go, no problem. And your next one, Zubat. Oh, yeah, I might as well stick with Pikachu. Oh dear, yeah, this is not going to go well, is it, uh, Team Rocket Grunt? Yeah, <laughs> don't mess with Pikachu, uh, Team Rocket. I blew it. You certainly did, buddy. She just left me alone. Darn it all. My associates won't stand for this. Well, that's your problem. Not mine. Okay, so sure enough, it was a dead end. Never mind. Ooh, a star piece. Is that the item that... Is that an item that you can just sell? I can't remember. Uh, it can be sold at a high price. Yep, so it is indeed the one you can sell. Okay, good stuff. Ooh, level 9, but not good for a Pikachu, so we'll uh, leave you alone. I'm going to level up Pikachu until level 17, and I'm going to train up Charmeleon a, a little bit more. Especially as Charmeleon can pretty much take on most of the Pokemon in this place, seeing as uh, seeing as he knows uh, Metal Claw. 